SpaceX is well underway in the development of Starship and Super Heavy rocket system. We have seen two 150 meter hops of the full scale Starship prototype and a 12.5 km high altitude flight test. However, in order to reach orbit, a very essential part of the fully reusable rocket system is its first stage, the Super Heavy booster. And recently, Elon Musk updated us with some radical plans to land the Super Heavy booster. Elon Musk wrote on Twitter that SpaceX will try to catch the Super Heavy booster with the launch tower arm, with grid fins taking the load. So the first question that arises here is why? Why SpaceX want to ditch the landing legs which are more reliable? Well, there are two main reasons to why SpaceX want to eliminate the landing legs. First, it reduces the mass of the booster and also eliminates the cost and complexity of designing and manufacturing the landing legs and secondly, it helps achieve rapid reusability. Let's look into these reasons one by one. Being 70 meter tall, Super Heavy is estimated to have a dry mass of about 180 metric tons. So in order to successfully land such a heavy thing, the landing legs also needs to be heavy duty. For instance, let's take example of the Falcon 9 first stage. The landing legs of the Falcon 9 are made up of carbon fiber combined with aluminium. And even though it uses carbon fiber, a single landing leg weighs up to 600 kgs. Now scale up the Falcon 9 booster to the size of Super Heavy. Landing legs are surely going to add a lot of mass. And anyone who knows a bit about rocket equation knows that adding mass requires more fuel to lift which in turn adds more mass. And apart from the mass it adds, the complexity of designing the landing legs for the Super Heavy is also a problem. We must know that the current Starship landing legs are not the best and SpaceX engineers are still looking for better options. So eliminating the landing legs altogether does seem a good idea. Another important factor in favor of catching the booster is that it will enable SpaceX's long-time dream of rapid reusability. Elon Musk has always thought of landing the booster right on the launch pad so that it can be refueled and launched immediately. And if SpaceX can successfully catch the Super Heavy booster, then they can launch it again in as little as one hour. So it does look like a good option, but how is it going to work? One thing we need to know is that the grid fins that Super Heavy is going to use to maintain the attitude during descent are going to be huge, with some estimates saying the grid fins can be 7 meters long and 3 meters wide. These grid fins are going to be made of steel and they are capable of taking the load of the nearly empty Super Heavy booster. So as you can see, the Super Heavy booster will propulsively land using the Raptor engines and precisely target the launch mount where the launch tower arms would clamp in below the grid fins and then close off. This render by CBOSS Productions looked more feasible than the other renders that came out, with the launch tower arms coming from the sides and also using powerful shock absorbers. However, this approach does have some challenges. First is the precision landing. Even though the Falcon 9 booster lands with pinpoint accuracy, it still has some room for error. But Super Heavy will have to be almost precisely above the launch pad for the arms to catch it. In addition to this, Super Heavy will not be hovering above the launch pad. When it will perform the landing burn, it will have just enough fuel to perform the suicide burn. These problems can lead to some massive explosion and it may even damage the whole launch pad. And considering the complexity of the landing procedure, I am sure we will see some rapid unscheduled disassemblies along the way. SpaceX is currently stacking the first Super Heavy booster prototype, BN1. If we are going to see some high altitude flight test or orbital flight test this year, we may even see the landing mechanism live. So that's all for today's video. If you like the content, do consider subscribing the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.